Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. In some cases, you may be connected to an intranet, in which case you may need a suite of network tools to help you troubleshoot problems or to help see if there's a problem before you know the problem exists. And you might remember the last interview we did with Packet Trap. Uh, we're doing it again, but this time we're highlighting another tool called PT360. And I know you're going to like this one because uh, you, you can download it right now, uh, right from the website, packettrap.com. And you can try it for about seven days. You get all the tools. And then after that, you will get access to some of the free tools that are built into PT360, including, and, and I realize this is part of the free portion of PT360, my favorite one, is the graphical ping. Like, you, you, you've, you've shot a ping off to a server to see if it responds. Uh, well, instead of just getting numbers back uh, in the uh, PT360 tool, I've been doing a, a graphical ping here on coupons.lockernome.com, and it's showing me the response time here. It's graphing in real time, and it looks good. It looks really good. I mean, I can tell that my website is healthy. So, uh, I mean, I, I, I understand, though, and not to take away from the other... How many other tools come with PT360? Well, there's, there's several. There's over uh, 14 extra tools that come with a PT360 Pro, um, and that would include things like Cisco Config Backup, Switch Port Mapper, NetFlow Analyzer, those types of tools uh, would come in the Pro version. And then the free version has a, a much slimmed down uh, amount of tools uh, that's a little bit more limited. Well, limited, but still very useful. Yes, absolutely. And, and the whole idea is that we're consolidating a bunch of open source tools into one uh, integrated dashboard so that you don't have all these disparate tools open on your, uh, on your desktop. Uh, and it can be hard to build your own. So we, we sort of did all the hard work for you. And for a price point of $99, we think uh, uh, we're going to be very competitive in the market. Uh, I would it's say. A full customizable dashboard as well, kind of like a, a traditional network management system. So you get all of that as well, and I believe with the free tools. Right. Yep. Well, the, the, I know the dashboard is uh, is somewhat different, but you've got – I like the way you explain it. You've got the suite of tools all wrapped up into one graphical user interface, um, and they're they're tabbed too. So I'm running a graphical print, ping, ping. That's, that's not a network tool. Um, <laughs> but I could also run an enhanced ping as well and then run it in a separate tab. So let me try that. Perfect. Yeah, and then it's just it's a different set of feedback. Include oh, uh, the enhanced ping lists DNS as well. That's right, That's right. And we also have a DNS uh, tool, uh, DNS search tool uh, on on DNS one of the options as well, a DNS audit. Yep. Okay. You can and, also do it who is as well. So if you want to know um, what which which website or which domain is owned by certain users, you can see that by clicking the uh, who is tool. Yeah. In fact, I just did. I did a. I, did, I mean, I obviously know who owns this particular domain um, um, but uh, yeah it, it, it was very fast in terms of how f I mean I, I've gone to the web before and just used online who is tools this was so much faster I mean of course I was already in the program right um, but I, yeah and, and you probably saw the TFTP server yes um, that can be very useful uh, unlimited simultaneous transfers um, that's a pretty nice feature to have uh, you probably also saw the traffic jam, which where you can generate um, traffic on your network uh, or simulate traffic, so you can see how certain machines perform in certain traffic when traffic is, uh, you know, thrown at them. Well, I know that uh, people have talked about installing TFTP servers before, and it kind of is a, a pain in the neck. So, how do you make it easier uh, in uh, PT360 for uh, getting a TFTP server up and running? Well, TFTP server is often used for updating software on network devices. Right. Um, extremely fast and secure utility. It, makes, it just makes your job easier. Uh, it works seamlessly with the uh, Cisco configuration tools, so that's something that you want to keep in mind. So the way that it's integrated and laid out, it just makes it that much easier to use. All right. Oh, and then you've got a trace route tool. That's so right. Know, I'm, just, I'm just running it on the, on the, uh, the same domain that I, that I have been Oh, and it does DNS2 on the trace route. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that's that's nice, and, and, and I, I'm sorry. I, I know it's the smaller things, but that means a lot when you're trying to troubleshoot through a problem. Yeah, no, yeah. it's great for you know even a home office user that has a small network. It's great for a small business or a consultant that goes from customer site to customer site to you know audit tools and uh, make sure their network's up and running properly. I love the I love the tab feature. Uh, very convenient. Very easy. I mean, it's, a, it's something that we're all familiar with. We've seen tabs in, in web browsers. I mean, it makes sense that our network tools also have tabs. 
See, I know it, it's simple. I realize it's simple, but it's the smaller things that really get me excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a great tool. No, it's a great tool. And, and you'll notice that some of the other vendors out there that have similar products are charging over $1,000. So for a $99 uh, price tag, even the smallest of businesses can really take advantage of having this integration. Uh, so it's very valuable, especially at uh, the price point we're selling it at. Well, I'd say, and in, in the again, to separate, you, you, it's like an all-in-one. You've got a seven-day trial period to try all the tools, and including uh, you've got a Mac scan for Mac addresses on your network, right. I'd assume? Yep. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Does it actually resolve the, uh, to the actual device name, and what information do you surface in a Mac scan? Uh, well, you're going to get all the Mac information, um, net BIOS, DNS, host name, you can get all that as well. Um, so it, it's a very useful uh, tool, uh, as you could imagine. And it also has a little more advanced features. It actually has a syslog server as well. That's right. So you can do a syslog server on your Cisco devices or, or even on your, just, uh, your Windows servers or Windows desktops. Wow. Okay, yeah. so, so some of these tools will stick with the application even past that trial. Uh, so it's, it's kind of like, it's, it's a good combo. I mean, correct, it, correct. like I said, I mean, the, the, the tools that you've built in that will continue to run are tools that I know anybody who has to deal with internet connectivity issues or just intranet issues could certainly use. Right. One other thing worth mentioning is how well this product integrates with our other product offering, Packet Trap Perspective, our network management system. Right. Because the one we covered product, last time. Right. Yeah, the right. product we talked about last time. Because if you get an alert or you figure out that something's wrong in your network, a lot of times you need to run a tool and troubleshoot that. And so they, they are, you can directly go to the tool suite from the GUI of perspective uh, as a click down menu and you can run a tool on any machine that you're, uh, you're managing. So that can be very useful as well. Yeah, I, it, I'm, just, I'm still watching the, uh, the graphical ping as it were and it's uh, listed out how long it's been running. It's been running for 8 minutes and 42 seconds according to this mm -hmm. with just one target. So you're actually giving stats. You mean not just you know running it live? Uh, there's also the export option. What uh, what uh, what data format would you export in specifically, like a graphical ping? If just like a you can export that into HTML or PDF and have it emailed to you know um, someone oh. else, a colleague. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Hang on just a second. I've got someone asking me a question here. Oh, someone, sorry, people like are always asking questions, and so someone. I feel like I'm on Larry King Live. <laughs> well, you, 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 you kind of are. Uh, they, they were asking, is this just available for Windows or any version of Windows? That's correct. Okay. Okay. Any version of Windows besides, I believe, 98. Okay. Well, that I, I yeah, only know. Hopefully, hopefully they, don't, they don't have that. Actually, <laughs> they've got other problems if that's what they're running right now. I do know one person who still runs Windows 98. Yeah, my, my, me too. My grandma. <laughs> uh, no, this person is actually, he's an operator in our chat room, and he proudly oh, wow. runs Windows 98, and we make fun of him all the time. <laughs> so now he probably just runs it despite you. I, you know, honestly, I don't know why. I still don't know why someone would run anything beyond XP. Even 2000, I could understand. 2000 sure. was rock solid. What about Millennium? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Millennium, not so much. Yeah, not so much, I'd say. So it's available right now. Yep. That's correct. It's double right now. Uh, it's, it's go to packetrap.com slash download, and you can try the PT360 and, and, and make full use of the free tools as well after the seven days. Right. Okay. Oh, as, I, as I have been using. That's what makes yeah. it. Well, like I said, it's, you, you need the t when you need the tool, you want to make sure it's the best tool for the job. And right. I, I've run trace routes and pings on the command line before. I mean, certainly, uh, and, and, and have gotten you know similar statistics, but certainly not as visual, certainly not as trackable, and certainly not as easily exportable. That's right. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. I appreciate it. No problem. We appreciate your support, too, so without a doubt. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, another set of um, very useful tools. See, now, by the way, they're making fun of uh, the guy who runs Windows 98 in the chat room right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just that's the way it is. Sorry. Anyway, uh, there you go. Packettrap.com. Go ahead and download PT360. You guys are continuously making improvements to it. Right. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, which, it, by the way, before I forget, which version is this? I mean, how long have you been uh, going so at? So the, the PT360 was released. It was our actually our first product. And it was released uh, in the summer of 2007. Okay. Yeah. So I think we're on version 3.3 .3 currently, right? So right now. Oh, well, it looks clean. 
Yep. Right yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Chris. And then don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're on Twitter now. Yeah, we're on Twitter now. Twitter.com slash Packet Trap. So we can There's at. There you go, guys. Everybody who's on Twitter right now, go ahead and at Packet Trap. Tell them what you think of PT316. Hopefully it's good. Because what's not to like? Yep. I'm not going to say what's not to like. The only thing I don't like is that, uh, well, I don't know. I, I, I'm more of a. I, I'm more of a Windows 98 guy, so the fact that it doesn't run on Windows 98, that's what I don't like. Okay, all right. Well, Just play we're it. all on board with you on that. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Anyway, my that's email nice. address, no problem. Thank you, guys. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you have other network tips to pass along. And of course, you're welcome to join us in our community of geeks, geeks.perillo.com. You can follow Packet Trap on Twitter, Packet Trap. And I'm on Twitter, too, Chris Perillo. I think they have more followers than I do at this point, which isn't a surprise because I'm kind of boring.